In his play Richard II, Shakespeare deplores neglect of the environment in general and of a garden in particular when it's allowed to become overrun with weeds. He goes on to compare this with failure in politics, a metaphor for an entire nation that's gone to ruin. He puts his criticisms of the inefficient rule of King Richard into the mouths of two royal gardeners who discuss what needs to be done in the garden. In the same way, they talk about the political problems the country is facing and what might be done to improve matters. It is significant that Shakespeare allows two very ordinary people to comment on the nation's problems rather than important statesmen or politicians. Go, bind thou up young dangling apricots, which like unruly children make their sire stoop with oppression of their prodigal weight. Give some supportance to the bending twigs. Go thou, and like an executioner, cut off the heads of two fast-growing sprays that look too lofty for our commonwealth. All must be even in our government. You, thus employed, I will go root away the noisome weeds, which without profit suck the soil's fertility from wholesome flowers. Why should we, in the compass of a pale, keep law and form in due proportion, showing us in a model our firm estate? When this sea wall garden, this whole land is full of weeds, the fairest flowers are choked up, the fruit trees all unpruned, the hedges are ruined, the knots are all disordered, and the wholesome herbs are swarming with caterpillars.